when you hit rock bottom, um, did it, did you feel like that spark ignited at that point or did it take a while to kind of get to the point, maybe get outside yourself? What t- take me through that process? So everything I do with gusto, even drugs. <laughs> yeah. Um, so even in my darkest moments, I mean, I was a high functioning addict. Yeah. Um, I, uh, and so you know, my drive and that, like, I'm going to just do whatever I do. I'm going to do it big, do it uh, as best as I can, even if it's self-destructive. Yeah. So I don't feel like I never, I didn't ever have a spark. Um, I feel like, and, and definitely the, you know, when I overdosed the thing that really, that the, the turning point wasn't almost dying. It was the fact that I couldn't go to work mm. and, um, I had built so much of my persona, my self image around being successful, achieving, 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 build this career. And so no matter how messed up I was or how bad I felt, I always went to work. And when I couldn't get out of bed for three days, like that was it. Like, this is clearly your life is a facade. You're not really that successful. And, you know, I knew I had something inside of me that I could do something big. I just had to get out of my own way. Um, and so I said, okay, I'm going to learn about myself with gusto. And, and I really started diving into deep, deep self-reflection and self-work, uh, work to try to understand those things. But, um, I don't think that I've ever lost my spark, Mm -hmm. even in those darkest times, because I am such a driven human being, which has its downside, you know, but yeah. 